hi everyone welcome to my channel today i'm going to do a comparison review of books to learn japanese language self-study the main one is mina no nihongo by the publisher 3a corporation it's a very expensive book but it's okay this book is labeled as for beginners but you cannot learn anything if you're just starting. The book is also the most expense, expensive if you compare to the Marugoto. The Marugoto has more levels and more variety. And on the website of Marugoto, you can verify there are more information than on the website from the 3A Corporation, right, where everything you see, you have to buy. And the Margoto is different. They have, have multiple research online. You don't have to buy the books if you don't want to, but although the books are more cheap than the ones from the Minano Nihongo. You can subscribe if you desire. If not, we're still friends. You can still download the research. You have all levels available. And they also have exercises available for you online the a1 is very good has con cultural background which is always important when you're learning a language they always the first levels they have two ones they have the main one and the exercise or vocabulary book but they're still good if you don't want to buy the non uh, the vocabulary book, you can still learn online on the research I'm going to show you next. So the A2B1 level of the Marugoto is equal to the Mina no Nihongo, but Mina does not show any cultural background so if you want to learn about japanese culture mina will not be a good way to start mina is for more elite class than you may think and before you ask why i have the mina well i was forced to buy it for college classes so forgive me if i'm not really a fan so Let's see the learning part. The learning part, you'll really like it. It has a very support material. You have the Mango to Plus, you have the Erin, but I think Erin is being discontinued. Is not, I'm not actually sure about that. But you also have apps that work as a flashcard kind of style, which means they have a lot of researches for you. So let's start by watching the Marugoto Plus. It's the main one where you can find everything about the levels and separated by levels, you will see. As you can see, they're separated by levels, as I told you, but we're going to the A1 to, for starters. They are separated at the same levels, the same topics as you will find on the book, but they are also separated by the life and culture, kanji, grammar, hiragana and katakana. They also have exercises and introductions to it, but we're going, I'm going to show you the hiragana. As you can see, the Iragana presents the table and have soundtracks that allows you to mim mimic exactly how they say it. I know it is not working, but <laughs> never mind that. It will work with you. Um, so they have the multiple types and you can actually hear them one by one and see the animation how they write them by order of the strokes. You can practice on your book. It's very good. You also have the Iragana drill, 
which is a flower in the middle of the desert, where you can exercise and practice by memory, multiple choice, and see how many you got wrong, how many you got right, if you're on the right track or not. You also have the katakana next, but I will not show you today. You also have the life with culture, which is very important for the ones that want to learn. You hear by topic separation exactly as the book. You have the San Sama or the Chan Kun reason why. The example of are really good and is a good way to practice and to watch uh, the daily um, lifestyle of Japanese in their culture, of course. You also have the family part. Family, very important. Kasako. You also have the food, the restaurants. A basic need how to survive with the most common things. Also, the holidays and the shopping and the towns and everything basically that you can, you have to know about Japan culture and citizens. I believe they have the Portuguese, but now they have Spanish and they have the English one for non-Japanese. You also have the kanji practice in case you want it. They're very good. You can always practice. And then you have the introduction levels where you can just open and practice. Now the introduction part is where they present you a little side story about it. How many times of the written characters, how they spell, the history, the transformations, everything. It's very good, at least I believe. So let's get to the final scores of of Mina and Maruboto. So for first learners, the, Ma the Maruboto is the best. I cannot say Mina is the best because it does not help. You have to buy more than one in order to get any reference. And of course, Maruboto has the online researches, which means that it can help you more without spending any extra money. Like in Mina, you need to have to buy even the Grammar no notes that are incomplete and don't have anything relevant to point. Then as a textbook or a guide in learning Japanese language and culture, also the best will be the Margoto because the Mina doesn't teach you any cultural reference whatsoever, is more exercises than actual learning. If you want to do the JLPT N5, it's a, the best will be the Mina. However, it's not really M5 practice, but you still have a lot of elite questions that you can use to practice a bit more general stuff training. So as a general score, I find to the Mina to be a very mediocre, a very average textbook, or they call it textbook, but I believe it's an exercise book. So. It is not very good for me. If I didn't, wasn't forced to put it for college, I'll probably never have it. The Marugoto is really definitely my top choice and I would definitely recommend for you to wear it, use it and take it with you whenever you go. And if you like this video, let me know in the comments below. If you have any suggestions, what kind of video you want me to do next, just Leave it on the comments, I will answer to you as soon as I can. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.